situation happened in Vegas. Shug, Shug's car with Pac and it gets shot up. Mm -hmm. I interviewed, I believe his name was Chris Carroll. I looked at him once again, I said, what happened? Who did this? Who shot you? And now he's looking at me, so we're looking at each other in the eyes. And this is kind of the first time he's even acknowledging my presence. And uh, he looked at me and I could tell he was, you know, he was getting a breath together to tell me. And he looked me right in the eyes and we looked at each other and he said, fuck you. And he said it just like that with an emphasis on that F to, you know, to really let me know. Uh, that's how we felt. So uh, he said that, and right after he said it, he kind of, he just kind of started, you know, started gurgling, and uh, you could tell he was in bad shape. And his eyes, he's starting to lose consciousness. Then and his eyes rolled back, and as it turns out, that would be his last conscious moment and his last words. Probably. Have you heard that story before? I heard a lot of stories, but this is this is a story from the actual police who who actually saw it. They might say, fuck that, you asking me something now. For one, I ain't no motherfucking snitching. For one, while you wasn't doing your fucking job, you roll up on the bike after the fuck I got shot. But Tupac's last words were, fuck the police. I mean, probably you see him after he got shot going into the motherfucking ambulance in New York. With his motherfucking yeah. finger up. You feel what I'm saying? So, probably. How do you, number one, when you heard the news that, that Pac got shot in Vegas, what, what went through your head? I mean, I think everybody first and foremost was like, oh, Pac got shot before, he gonna make it. He, he gonna be okay. You feel me, he do it, but I knew it was serious when um, they just, they just told, told how many calls, they just said, just, just squat, don't fly out yet. <laughs> it's a circus here, don't, you, you gonna come out here and you gonna just squat. And so it was a lot of things. I'm like, this squad, I'm like, okay, it's cool. And it's a circus, I understand that. You feel what I'm saying? But then when the reports was like going out, like he was there, I'm like, yo, I'm flying out, boom, 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 boom. And they keeping me back, but you know, our family is all Vegas. They keep me posted. They's like, everything good, 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 good. Chill, boom, 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 stand, boom, boom. And just when the reports was coming out and I'm calling anybody, nobody was answering my fucking call. And I started knowing something the fuck is up. I started knowing something really was the fuck up. Did you get to see him? Did you go to the hospital before he died? Nah. No. They, 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 listen, man, it's, I'm one nigga that couldn't have been up in that motherfucker. Cause if I would've seen how he really looked, I really would've known it wasn't gonna be a good look. And a lot of people there, bitch ass bodyguards and all the shit that was around there looking concerned. I wouldn't be here now because their heads would have been fucking off right there at the hospital. So everybody knew not to fucking call me up in that motherfucker, man. You know, there's a whole lot of words about this, that, 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 so and so, so and so. I don't, ah, I don't do that. I want to find out everything beforehand, and I was too hot headed at that motherfucking time. And it would have been. Some wrong niggas probably just fucked up. And you wouldn't even see me after that. Cause I'd have been definitely dead, but for sure locked the fuck up. Forever. You feel me? You wrote more than you till I join you. Which I felt was, was the most heartfelt, you know, song about, about Tupac. How hard was that song to write? Hmm. I'm gonna cry through every fucking verse. Cry through thing. the whole video. Hard to even watch the song without shedding tears. You feel me? Whole different beast. Like when you got a brother and y'all dirt ass fucking poor, nobody know you or anything else. Y'all grow to be 
rich, famous millionaires and anything else, and then you got to survive the streets and die in this motherfucking industry. And, uh, like, the most kind-hearted people that, he was like a, a movement. He was a man of a movement. He wanted to save his people. He wanted to do so much shit for the people. He was a baby panther and shit. And you, why don't get assassinated like that? Like, it's very disrespectful. Did you ever see a murder rap documentary? I don't look at too many. I've seen a lot of shits. So I don't even know all the names of them shits, but I don't have to look at some shit I hear about what's said about shit. But listen, man, if anybody was going out to make money off of shit, everybody got their own motherfucking story, man. Well, I've, I've always felt that the, the murder of Tupac is the, the worst kept secret of all time. And Biggie. And Biggie. But, but Tupac in particular, because in murder rap, Keefe D, who's Orlando Orlando Anderson's uh, uncle, described the the shooting and described you know because the dude that they jumped, you know he describes how they went and shot at the car afterwards. There's actual audio of him confessing to this. Keefe, today what we're going to do we're just going to go over with a fine tooth comb the Las Vegas incident. We're going to draft up our report as regarding that specific thing, and then we're going to cover a few other things that we do have to uh, um, emphasize to you that everything in this report has to be right on because if down the road it's determined that some of these details are incorrect, then everything's off the table. So everything in this report cannot be like that report. Hey, I want I want to say this though too. I feel uh, like I said that day. Don't bullshit me, and I won't bullshit y'all. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Lane starts blasting. Um, you say should looks over. He sees you. Yeah. He looks right at you. Yeah, he looks at me. Okay. Why are you looking right at me? Fuck, is it old? He tells us since we were seven, eight years old. Uh, when he looks over at you, and then you know Tupac's busy getting shot. Uh, evident story is Tupac's trying to either get out in of the line. back seat or something. Yeah, what do you see happening inside of their car? In. I seen a bullet going shoot again. I thought he was dead. I thought he was dead. So Orlando shot him this car across him? Dre. He leaned over on the window. We rolled down the window. Pop. Who was it? They would throw on my side, I would pop them. You know what I'm saying? They, but they was on the other side. Right. Right, well. If it was there, then they know what's going on. I mean, I'll leave it at this and then we'll end this interview. As far as I fucking see it. <clears throat> Anybody been to a Tyson fight or any fight in Vegas, man? If you stand three fucking miles down the road, they'll tell you don't drive nowhere because you're not going to go nowhere. The traffic's so thick. Gangbangers do shit they want you to know they did shit. Or if they didn't, they want to have the name of Reverend doing some shit and anything else. But they always fucking, at the end of the day, you get caught. Biggie get killed in motherfucking Beverly Hills outside of Vibe of fucking wars and shit. And this motherfucker just floats into the fucking sunset. Or the fucking sun going down. Where you could have a jaywalking charge in the helicopter ghetto bird to be on your ass. And you can't go no fucking where. So with all that shit, where all these peace police, where all the feds, the fuck was that that was supposed to be following? Death Row, Bad Boy Big, and anything. When all this shit going, ain't no motherfucking body there. Gangsters do shit, and they wanted to be known they did shit. And pass all the rest of that shit. Fuck around, believe anything, you know. Two of my niggas, they was assassinated professional fucking hits, man. The fuck out of here, man. Let's say some niggas did that shit, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. Motherfucking this goddamn winter time in motherfucking Florida, too, then. Believe anything the fuck you want. Nigga did that. Why all the rappers ain't nobody been cooking in fucking bodies and shit? I feel you, man. Well, ain't nobody getting motherfucking caught. Fuck anybody believes some old bullshit. 
Niggas, stop killing each other, man. Get them guns. Don't put them up. Get them ready, man. To get on the same team, nigga. Because we the enemies, god damn it. And you're going to have us killing each other forever. Doing a fucking job for them, man. Give a fuck. Yeah, I'll be next. I don't give a fuck. I'm ready.